Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message, whenever you find it, it is meant for you, that I recorded on May 9th, 2024, I will be using the Unshakable Inner Peace Oracle Cards by Shannon Kaiser. There's a front of that box cover now. Go ahead and set it in the background there. All right, off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks, and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine Guidance. Oh, sorry about that. Had to go to the floor there as it popped right out. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful message here in this card. Forgiveness will set you free. What do you need to forgive yourself for? Number 14, all right, and one plus four is five, and five, five, five means changes. Five is one of my favorite numbers as it means change. That is really the only thing that we're promised here in this life is change, okay? But how does the number 14 or five resonate with you? And certainly the image here, we've got two feminine figures at the bottom that appears to be in some type of dance, uh, movement, okay, as well as a leopard and or cheetah cat in the background, okay, the moon and roses with some crystals, okay, and this appears to be almost in a desert scene, okay, <clears throat> so how does it resonate with you? Any of the imagery here could be a sign and synchronicity for you, pay attention to what repeats in your life, go out and do your homework, use that intelligence system, your human intelligence, along with your divine intelligence of your intuition, as messaging information comes your way, and then you decide if it resonates for you in your life, okay? But certainly, take control and take your power back by being in charge of your own education, okay? Forgiveness. Absolutely, forgiveness. And forgiveness is typically for closure, isn't it? Okay? and forgiving not only ourselves, but others that may have wronged us, all right? And in order to have closure and to move on, we can go through the steps of forgiveness. And you don't have to forgive either. Let's make that clear. You absolutely do not have to forgive and forget, as the saying goes. You can remember the facts and learn the lessons. Maybe not even offer up the forgiveness, okay? but move forward anyway, finding closure your own way, all right? But taking note of those lessons learned so you don't repeat, okay? You don't repeat whatever the issue was, whatever, you know, if it's your fault, okay? And you might be the one that needs to receive forgiveness, but we don't need anything really, okay? Let's, let's be clear about that. We do not need somebody else's forgiveness in order to make changes, in order to stand up and be accountable for what we did, in order to move forward and be a better person, all right? You don't have to, you know, beg people for forgiveness, all right? Please recognize and realize when relationships have come to their expiration date and it's time to move forward, okay? And close the door on on past relationships as learning opportunities. And now you're moving forward to develop new relationships, but you've learned the lessons, okay? Interesting. What do you need to forgive yourself for? All right, that's a big question. Even though we're, you know, forgiving others for the wrongs they're doing, or maybe other people are trying to forgive us, or we would hope by the wrongdoings that we've done. But forgiveness, really, <clears throat> bottom line, it's not required, okay? Let's get into the booklet and see what additional messages Shannon had in mind, her intention for the card, all right? Anything additional I add is always coming from personal life experience, may never resonate with you at all, that is totally okay, all right? Because we all lead different lives, we all live for different reasons, different purposes and plans for our life, okay? Anything that may come as a very channeled message, I will bring that forward. That will only be for a few people as it's very specific and detailed, all right? That doesn't happen in all of my readings, okay? And I don't force it. I don't make that stuff up. I only bring it forward. <clears throat> and how that resonates, <clears throat> excuse me, 
<clears throat> somebody may be having a difficult time. And I was just getting to the fact, you know, that how it resonates for me, okay, is through physical ailments. A lot of times I take on other people's ailments that may be watching here. <clears throat> and I'm having a throat chakra blockage, so maybe you are not forgiving somebody. You, for whatever reason, aren't using your voice to speak your truth, okay? Or you're not even telling somebody that they've hurt you, all right? It's time to unblock the chakra and speak your mind and speak your truth, all right? So physical ailments will sometimes come my way that aren't mine, okay? And I'll acknowledge those, and typically once I do, they... They diminish or, or do go away. Or certainly I will hear things in my mind that are specific and I'll bring those forward. And as soon as I, and a lot of times I don't even know what they mean. Okay, but it's meant for somebody. It's The universe knows that whoever receives that will know how to place that information in their life. And as quickly as it comes in, it typically leaves. Okay, and it's released. All right, so let's get into it. Forgiveness will set you free. <clears throat> when someone you care about hurts you or you witness injustice and pain in the world, anger and resentment can feel justified. Perhaps you've been harmed by actions or words of another, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and you haven't even spoke up about it because my throat chakra is blocked here. <clears throat> when, we may, when we experience trauma, these hurtful actions can have a lasting effect on us. Chances are there is a situation in person you need to forgive, okay? The first person that comes to your mind is an accurate person to focus on. So who is it that comes to your mind right away? That is the individual, okay? Forgiveness is not saying what you did is okay and I will forget about it. It is simply an energetic exchange releasing the hold that has been imprisoning you. By embracing for <clears throat> excuse me, wow, by embracing forgiveness, you can also embrace peace, hope, gratitude, and joy. If you are having difficulty forgiving or having difficulty communicating throat chakra, okay, focus on your willingness to move forward with more peace, right? This really speaks to me in the way that. Do you want to continue the way things are and, and deal with the pain of that? Or are you ready for the change, 555? Okay. Are you ready for the change to come in and happen for you so that you indeed can move forward in a different direction? Okay. Very interesting, right? Moving forward with peace, moving forward with less pains the pains of change are less than what you are currently experiencing then consider how forgiveness can lead you down the path of well-being when you forgive you've made a choice to let go of resentment okay you made a choice to let go of resentment and anger forgiveness is needed right now for you to feel better even if you never Tell this person, maybe this person isn't even alive anymore, okay? Writing down the forgiveness, okay? And you could even, you know, read it aloud. Even if it's just for you, a ritual just for you, okay? Forgiveness is needed right now for you to feel better. It's highly possible the person you need to forgive is yourself. Divine assignment, you may be stuck in a vicious cycle of self-sabotage, blame, and shame. Do you feel guilty for something you did or didn't do? Be kind to yourself and practice self-love and compassion. The words you say about yourself matter. Recognize that everything is always in right order and you did the best you could with what you knew at the time. Take guided action to create a better, more aligned outcome. If you are prone to dwelling on negative feelings, unforgiveness will only make the situation more challenging. Okay. Spend some time focusing on all the good things that have come out of the situation. Make a list of what you have learned and release expectations. 
Be willing to forgive yourself and others and you will be set free, okay? Do what you feel called to do in order to have closure, okay? Because forgiveness isn't always the right feeling for everyone, all right? <clears throat> and I understand where you may come to that conclusion. However, please recognize and realize in yourself Whatever approach you're choosing for closure isn't done with negative undertones, okay? And is done in the most positive way for you, okay? And maybe the parties involved if they are still involved, all right? But to make sure that, you know, you're not building up additional karma, by reacting to this situation, circumstance, or relationship negatively, but come to the conclusion on your own, what are the best practices for you for closure, okay? And forgiveness might be part of it. So consider it. Additional meanings. Further guidance can be drawn from the leopard energy in the design. People with the leopard totem are self-confident, wise and courageous in the face of adversity, okay? They have a great deal of personal power. Tap into the leopard for guidance and how to forgive, okay? Also note the spirit animal is a healer of deep wounds, which means the leopard will bring old issues to resolution through reclaiming your lost power, okay? Maybe you're holding on to things from the past, from long, long ago in the past, okay? And you haven't figured out the ways that are going to help you have closure. You might have to include forgiveness within that approach. Question to ask yourself, what do I need to forgive myself for? You can forgive yourself for not forgiving yourself, okay? Or not forgiving somebody else and holding on to that guilt, that shame, that energy, okay, holding on to the negativity, not seeing the lessons that were learned, all right, not seeing the opportunity to grow from the situation, circumstance, or relationship and the after effect of it when somebody did you wrong, okay. It's time to really see those areas, all right. I would encourage you today in your magic moment of the present moment to take inspired action, foreclosure, okay? Forgiveness is offered up as one way to do that. So consider forgiving yourself, consider forgiving others so that you can step away finally and close that chapter in your life. I appreciate every single one of you. Like, share, subscribe, leave me comments if you so choose. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Put your best foot forward and be the best human you can be. Find moments and opportunities to bring difficult times to closure through forgiveness today. Come back and join me for yet another Collective Energy message. Bye-bye.